All right. <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is people have been asking what my supplements are, what my supplements are like. So I'm going to show you what I'm taking. Every day I take uh, five grams of creatine powder. Uh, you can take it anytime throughout the day. You can take it post workout if you want. I don't take it pre workout. I just take it pretty much with a meal after training. Okay? Five grams. Next, I take about 6,000 milligrams of MSM. Um, supposedly good for my joints. Uh, connective tissue, and I buy the powder form. I just pretty much chase it. It's got a little scooper. I just pop it in my mouth, take three scoops, it's about 3,000 milligrams, and I take that twice a day. Um, you can get uh, 15 grams a day, I hear. Um, it's supposed to be really good for you, detoxes your brain. Pulls metals out, I guess. Uh, they were using it for a lot of research on people with Alzheimer's. So, I use this right now for my joints and stuff, but my elbow is still feeling kind of sore. I know this helps with connective tissue as well, and muscle and tendons, and strengthens joint and skin structure. Well, there it is right there. So they say. So, take that, it doesn't hurt. Um, for pre-workout, I take a teaspoon of this, which is about 4 grams of beta alanine. Um, this stuff will make you get all tingly, but I don't think you should be complaining about the tingles. Who cares? It's not even bad, and it doesn't last long. It goes away. I also take citrulline malate. I take about uh, 8 grams of this pre-workout. So pretty much this... These two are my pre-workout stacks. We got four grams of beta alanine, and we got eight grams of citrulline malate. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I was taking this pre-workout, but um, I stopped, and I don't really notice a difference at all. Um, I'll probably time this better, and might use this when I cut. Um, it's been shown to help oxidize fat a little bit, so I might wait on that. For protein, I use this whey protein isolate. This, for me, I like. I don't really like the artificial ingredients. Uh, this comes from grass-fed cows. I don't know if it really matters um, because there's not really any fat at all in it. It's just pure protein. But they use stevia or stevia, whatever you want to call it. And um, I like that better than Splenda. I don't like using Splenda or Sucralose. Um, what else? I just ran out of my multivitamin. But I usually take Life Force. Life Force Multi, I usually take. Um, what else? And then this. And this is pretty much it. This ends it. Uh... Super Omega 3. I try to get a combination of EPA and DHA to be about 3 grams a day. So, right now I'm taking these. Um, so, for this one, I take about 5 pills a day. Um, if I was taking standard fish oil, it would be around 10 pills. So, this is a little stronger, which is good. And that's it for my supplementation. I don't take anything else. Um, I've been eating a lot of rice lately and a lot of grains, and so I've been trying to get my apple cider vinegar in. I guess it helps keep you alkaline. I don't know, it's supposed to be healthy for your body. I'm really into that natural health shit. So, I try to be as healthy as I can, I guess. And I believe that food is powerful. Other than that, the bulk is going pretty good. I'm getting bigger. I'm getting stronger. My routine is legs on one day then the next day is push and then the next day is pull the next day is off and then it repeats so legs push pull off repeat um, there's a couple other youtubers out there 
and then doing the same kind of routine. Um, I feel like it works. It works the best for me. Uh, I'm making gains fast, and uh, I'm also eating more. Now for eating, these are the things I recommend, man. You gotta get a rice cooker. This thing makes everything handy. A rice cooker, a slow cooker, okay, a blender, and then a George Foreman. I don't have a Foreman grill, but that would be ultimate. And that's all you really need. And I got a frying pan, of course. But I'm bulking out, losing the abs a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll give you a glimpse of the progress. Like some good lighting in here. Mmm, shit. Uh oh. I'm calculating my calories every day. So it looks like I'm making gains. Um, most of it's diet. Obviously diet. I feel like I feel like everyone always says diet is most important. But really, what is diet without the training? You know? And what is training without the diet? I really feel like they're 50-50. People always say it's like 80% diet. but I feel like they go hand in hand. The supplementation... I feel like it's just the smallest little part of it. It really just comes down to lifting and eating. And then you can make more gains. Yeah! So, progress is good. I'm gaining size. I mean, I look... I look way bigger already. It's been a month on my bulk. And uh, I'm not really getting too fat. You know? I'm going to keep it up and keep getting bigger. <clears throat> Stay up with this progress. And uh, I got nothing to hide. They're the abs. I have a really thick oblique, so... <sighs> I probably won't get much fatter than this. <clears throat> this is about as fat as I get. Off season. <laughs> Off season, I have to say. Even though I haven't competed yet. I plan on doing it soon. And that's it. <clears throat> so follow my progress. Like, comment, subscribe. More videos to come. I got more training videos. I had an issue with the leg video that I posted. But, um... Hopefully get some chest videos in, some push days, some back days. And, uh, oh, take it from there. Man, I should have filmed this way. And this is where all that good lighting is. Damn. All kinds of gains. All kinds.